The Greek word morphe means form or shape. The practice of philosophy through morphic dramaturgy is what Epictetus called dialogue with events. Morphic dramaturgy deals with reality perceived as a collection of objects and relationships between them. The greatest obstacle in the philosophical relationship with the world of objects is lust. We want to conquer the world, instead of watching it impartially, and even if we do not, we still have some requirements for it. We do not listen to Marcus Aurelius when he says, And why should we feel anger at the world, as if the world would notice? We do not keep his advice, to accept it without arrogance, to let it go with indifference. The Greek philosophers have noticed that we do not know what brings us happiness. Epicurus said that fulfilling the three conditions is enough, not to be hungry, not to be thirsty, to find protection from the weather. Everything beyond that, for example, exquisite food, is no longer an increase in happiness, but its diversification. And while chasing luxury, we create a deficit. We live in constant torment of failure, as no excess has its end. Researchers at the Stanford University have been tracking lives of some 1500 people from childhood to death for a hundred years to see what affects longevity and life satisfaction. It is neither good humor nor recognition nor concern for safety and avoidance of stress. The real factors are perseverance, diligence, hard work and commitment to the community. At prior, and you might think that the research was commissioned by the Benedictine order, which motto is Ora et Labora, pray and work. We know, however, that these results were obtained by impartial scholars. Before St. Benedict worked out his formula, he spent three years in a cave near Subiaco, practicing perseverance and understanding. The traits of character that bring people great benefits were called in antiquity virtues. And training in virtues was the basis for a happy life. Leonardo da Vinci, one of the greatest experts in the dramaturgy of the morphic world, had been watching water for decades. He wrote, Water is the driving force in nature. It suffers change into as many natures as are the different places through which it passes. Thanks to persistent and gauged observations, he made more discoveries than any other human being in history. But mindfulness of the world of objects is not enough. Deep philosophical training is not only about being aware of reality, but about understanding its logic and experiencing its beauty. This is achieved by special training of attention, switching it from the habitual perception of the world as a collection of objects to perceiving reality as a process.